Good morning, RTO family. Today we're gonna to hit back day at the gym. But first, I gotta hit this smoothie up. I got Yoki's Triple Zero, zero grams of added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, and zero percent fat. This is the best yogurt I've ever had. This is Greek yogurt with a hint of vanilla. Comes with 17 grams of protein per six ounces. I like that spoon clean. Mm. Next up, powdered peanut butter. If you haven't had powdered peanut butter, suggest you try it. It goes with about anything. You can mix up, put it in cake batter, put it in smoothies. Next up, sugar-free syrup. Comes with only 15 calories and adds a little kick and a little taste to your smoothies. Next, we got blueberries. This gives you good antioxidants inside your smoothie. This helps the taste better. Next up, Quaker Oats. Great source of fiber. Makes, you, makes your stomach fill up. So you don't need that much because you definitely don't want to overfill yourself before the gym. Next, micronized creatine. I like to throw this in my smoothie rather than my pre-workout or just drink it in water because then you don't have to taste it. It doesn't taste bad. I usually take about one full tablespoon. Next step, banana. Great source of fiber, great source of potassium. Next up, protein. Best thing about this protein is just one scoop is over 34 grams of protein. So, we don't need a lot. Next up, almond milk. If you ain't drinking almond milk, you're doing it wrong. Now, let's mix this stuff up. That's what I call perfect. Next up, pre-workout. All right, everyone, it's time for that pre-workout. Renova 8 is probably the best pre-workout I've ever had. It comes with 225 milligrams of caffeine. It really just makes you go crazy in the gym. Let's get straight to it, really straight. Now, I'll catch y'all at the gym. Good morning, RTO family. Welcome back. We're at the gym. It's back day, so first thing I want to start off with is behind the head lat rows. I like to have it on my head. When you're up here, that's when you get the most stretch from your lats. When you come down here, you want to make sure you come all the way back. Make sure you throw in your shoulder blades all the way back and your elbows all the way back also. You come up, make sure you get that full stretch. You do that consecutively 25 times. Next up, we're going to be switching from the wide grip bar to our medium size bar. If you'd like to pick up a set of these bars, I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description where you can buy them. Now we're gonna get rid of that media grip bar and we're gonna go to our close grip angle down bar. Guys, next up, we're gonna get the pull machine and start doing rows. We got our medium bar here. Let's get to it. Now, when it comes to rows, you want to make sure you're fully getting that stretch out when you go all the way forward. Let me show you how it's done. 
So when you come up, you want to hit. And when you go down, you want to throw your short legs over. And make sure you get that full stretch in there. Personally, when I do these rows, I like to wear a belt to support my lower back. I'm pulling so my lower back doesn't hurt. You guys can suck. Now, with these bars, they have two variations. If you flip it this way, your angle is out. So this way your angle is in. So it really depends on how well you're comfortable at and how far you want to go that day. Next bar pull. This is a inner grip pull. This is a nice custom bar. Let's get to it. Alright guys, next up we're going to move to dumbbell rows. Now when doing this, I recommend wearing wrist straps. So you go to control that weight, if you don't have wrist straps, go ahead and use chalk. If the gym doesn't allow chalk, then you're just going to have to go with your regular grip. If it's your first time doing them, I recommend starting off on a lower weight so you'll be able to lift it correctly. If you've been doing these for a while, it should be pretty easy and you should already know what you're doing. Let's get to it. Oh. Uh, guys, one thing that a lot of people mess up when doing dumbbell rows is they don't fully stretch their lat out, which is compromising your gains and potentially going to hurt yourself. So I got a lot of weight here and I'm going to show you guys what you guys need to be doing. So usually I like to do a, have a bench my hand on the top, foot up. And I like to have the, I like to grip the dumbbell like this. And if you have wrist straps, wrap it around. I like to be, for myself, I like to be able to stretch my lat fully out. And then you come up, come up all the way up. And make sure when you do this, you go all the way down. So you fully stretch out your lat. Next up, we're doing the Smith Machine Row. Same concept as the Dumbbell Row, but more controlled. Alright guys, your next step is cable pulls behind the head. So what this does is it's meant to stretch out your lap. So with this, you want to do a lighter weight, not heavy. This is just meant to be for stretching purposes only to really separate those lats and make you get wing. When doing these, you want to make sure you have a full control movement. You don't want to be moving around a lot. You want to be sitting in your chair and pulling. That's all you have. we're gonna do so usually on my back days and my arm days I like to do shoulders so a little shoulder workout I like to do is shoulder presses basically use a squat machine or a squat bar I put it behind my head and I'll just push up and that really gives you a nice stretch and pumps up your shoulders like crazy
includes a full back date. Go ahead and like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions. See you in the next video.